Holy shit, guys. Guys, I've spent so much money in the past couple weeks. This is incredible. All right, so, yeah, you guys know I've been sporadic on and off. I apologize for that. I think the overtime is done. I kind of went a little overboard with the spending of uh, some money. I've been trying to collect some ammo. We got a lot to talk about here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. <clears throat> I've been trying to collect some ammo. As a few of you guys know, when we went to Minnesota last year, my brothers and I, we brought more ammo than anybody else probably combined. We were actually supplying some of the other people that ran out. You know, we didn't charge them. It was, we just had such a great time. Um, this is all the stuff that I've received. Well, I shouldn't say received. That I purchased in the past couple weeks. And I don't even know where to begin. We got a lot to talk about here. You know, the, the bill not passing for the background checks. Wow, I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a president so pissed off making a speech. It's just, it's phenomenal. I, I'm lost for words. It's a good feeling. I mean, granted, New Jersey's trying to pass some other legislative uh, bills, but uh, I don't think it's going to interfere with... I know Governor Chris Christie said he didn't want to reduce the magazine capacity, and I think it just has something to do with the background checks, but our state sucks anyway, so I'm not worried about that, and I don't plan on staying in Jersey the rest of my life. So anyway, let me get to the things that I purchased here. As we all know, ammo's, there's been a shortage of ammo. And whatever ammo you can find, it's very expensive. Here in Jersey, I'm finding a box, a 223, whether it's PMC or any other brand, I don't know, $15 to $20 a box. Well, I went to Cabela's today. My wife's suggestion, suggestion went to Cabela's. Spur of the moment, dropped my son off at my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, at my mother-in-law's house, and uh, we shut up the Capellas. Now I've seen prior videos of people saying how empty the shelves are, and I was kind of discouraged. I I didn't know whether I wanted. To, it's like an hour and a half drive for me, so I said, "Hell with it. It's a beautiful day. Let's take a ride." So we went there. Sure enough, they had two, two, three in stock, but you were limited to five boxes. Per, per customer per day. So it was me and my wife. I, I bought five. I made my wife buy five. She was a little nervous because in Jersey you have to have a permit to purchase ammo and all that crap. And I tried to explain to her we're in PA. They're not even going to question you. She ended up buying that. So for 100 bucks, I got 200 rounds. So now, me being the smart ass from Jersey that I am, I asked the guy, I said, how do you know if somebody's not just purchasing whatever they can, going to the car or the truck, putting it in there, coming back in for more. He turns around and he goes, well, we got cameras to watch that. Like I'm sitting in a casino and I'm cheating at a, at a car table or something. Come on. So what we did was I went, purchased the 200 rounds. We left. We went to Walmart, which is in the same complex. Looked around there, stopped at the ammo there. They didn't have shit at Walmart. And the guy said the same thing, you got to get there as soon as they open, blah, blah, blah. So I said, babe, turn around, we're going right back to Cabela's. She's like, I'm not going in there, I'm not going in there. I said, well, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to buy another 100 rounds. Well, the first time I was in there, half hour earlier, they didn't have any more 5.56. Five, well, they must have just opened a brand new stock and restocked the shelves. So I bought 100 rounds of this. Nobody even looked twice at me, nobody even said anything. So... That's that. I purchased that today, so I got 300 rounds for 150 bucks. It's, it comes, what is it, 50 cents a round? It's better than paying a dollar a round. That's all I got to say. All right, so when I was at Cabela's, I didn't know what else to get, and I got a couple more projects coming up. And I know I have torque wrenches from when I was a mechanic, my mechanic days, quote. Um, I saw this. And this is a nice little torque, uh, it does inch pounds for like uh, uh, sight rings and different things like that, which I know you really truly don't need, but you know what, I wanted it. And I had a little extra spending money, speaking of spending money, and I'm sorry I'm all over the place guys, I'm drinking my Monster, so I got a little energy. Yesterday, I took my wife and my mother-in-law to Mohegan Sun in PA. Uh, for you guys that don't know, it's a casino, 
and I actually won a couple hundred dollars. So, I mean, not a lot. I didn't win. I put it this way. I came home with more money than I went there with, so I had some money in my pocket ready to burn. And let me get on that. In Jersey, when you're paying tolls in Jersey, which everybody knows is, you know, toll city, toll capital of the country, I always have a habit, a habit of saying good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is. And in Jersey, you get, yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. Like, they're rude. Man, when I got in the uh, PA and paying, a, you know, the toll just to enter into PA, and you know they're Pennsylvania employees, oh, thank you, sir, you have a wonderful day. You know, they're very polite. It's like, I didn't know how to react. It was like, even the people at the casino, they were totally polite, even, you know, asking questions where certain tables were. Anyway, I just wanted to, <laughs> I just thought it was funny, guys. It's like, I was out of my element. I was ready to fight somebody, and they're all polite to me. So anyway... I got the torque wrench. Again, I know I don't need it. There's a couple items in this box here that that I wanted. You know, like the lower vice block, the upper vice block. I couldn't tell you what that piece is. It, what's it? Hold open the two receivers together. It actually comes with a torque wrench, which I do not need, but it came with the box. It came with, it comes with a new armorer's wrench, which everybody knows from my prior video. This one that I have, this thing's garbage. None of these squares work. I don't care what anybody says. The uh, buffer tube wrench, horrible. It slips. It's only got one little, it's garbage. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll just give it away. Somebody else that wants to work, you know, use it or have it. Has a couple punches in it. Believe it or not, this thing was 100 bucks. I didn't have to spend 100 bucks on it. Kind of crazy, but like I said, it is what it is. Alright, and on to the bigger and better things. Uh, you guys have all seen my uh, Rock River Arms AR-15. has a 20-inch chrome line barrel. It's a little heavy to hold there and shoot. You know, as you're standing there and you're shooting. It's not like a carbine, like my brother's stag, that's a 16-inch barrel, very light, very uh, mobile. The stock is shorter on his. So I'm going to turn my Rock River Arms into a long gun. Uh, I actually purchased Harris Bipod. This is the LM Series S for swivel. And I purchased two of these. And you may ask why I purchased two of these. In my last video I mentioned that I did purchase another firearm. And I haven't shown it yet because... It doesn't come with sights, it doesn't come with a scope, it doesn't come with anything. It's just plain Jane, I didn't want to show it. So, in a video, I'm going to put all this stuff on. And you're going to see the firearm. So, I got rings. Scope rings. I actually got a bore laser. So, when I'm at home, I could try and get the sights uh, semi-close, then take it to the range and finish sighting it out. Which I noticed on my Rock River Arms... I bought one for the 223. It came in handy when I first part, uh, purchased the Rock River Arms. I couldn't hit paper worth of shit with that thing. I got this, got it very close. I started hitting paper. I knew where to dial it in because I don't have a, um, a range scope or whatever you call those things. I purchased the scope for it. This is a Nikon Buckmaster. I'm just going to show it to you briefly. This was a couple hundred dollars. It's got their new uh, reticle BDC. It's a 40 millimeter. It's a 3 by 9 by 40 millimeter. So I'm excited to use that. And the, the only reason I didn't get anything bigger is I don't think I'm going to be shooting anything longer than, say, 300 yards, if that's at all possible for me here in Jersey. But, uh,. I know the, well, just by this stuff, you know it's a rifle I bought. The rifle that I bought could shoot well over 300 yards. But that's for a later video. Also, for my AR-15 build, hence the box, hence all the ammo, I'm hoping to have it done before the Minnesota trip. And yes, Eric, my brother and I are definitely going. My little brother may be going again.
Not sure yet. I got, yeah, let me start, a free float rail from Midway, uh, I'm sorry, Midwest Industries that I'm going to install on it. All right. And I got the cap for it. The only thing I don't have for it yet is the gas block. I, like I showed you in the other videos, I do have a muzzle brake for it. I will be pinning. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like right now. I'm not ready for this. Hold on one second, guys. And I'm dropping shit. See, that's the stock. That's what it looks like. Delta rings coming off. Clamshells coming off. A2 front sights coming off. Muzzle brakes coming off. All right, and I'm hoping to bring this with me to Minnesota. All right, guys, that's basically it. Um, also, my brother, uh, Rob Picot58, he's actually been purchasing a shitload of stuff for, yes, his AR-15 this time. We're not giving it away. He went out, got a lower. As soon as they shot down the whole um, firearms ban, you know, federally, he went to our local gun shop, amazingly, they had two AR-15 lowers for sale for 130 bucks. couldn't friggin' believe it, and he went and purchased it, and now, I'm not going to tell you detail, he's changing the colors up, he's not going with the all-black rifle, he's going with a certain color, and it's going to be great, guys, so, stay tuned, I got a shitload of more videos coming up, especially now that I know I'm going to have some free time. And enjoy, guys. Thank you very much. Oh. Also, <laughs> I picked up something small. It was a roll, roll pin starter punch. No big deal. I just forgot to mention that. But I think the kit that I just bought from Cabela's, they actually have a couple in there. So that might be an extra one I might end up giving away. I don't know. But, alright guys, take it easy. Enjoy. And I'll talk to you guys later.